नमस्ते फ्रेंड्स वी आर अवेयर ऑफ स्प्रंग एंड अनस्प्रंग मास इन ए वहीकल रेशो ऑफ अनस्प्रंग मास टू स्प्रंग मास इज ऑफ फंडामेंटल इंपॉर्टेंस इन वहीकल डायनेमिक्स इट इन्फ्लुएंसेज वर्टिकल एक्सेलरेशन ऑफ स्प्रंग मास एंड राइड क्वालिटी रिड्यूसिंग अनस्प्रंग मास रिड्यूस्ड वर्टिकल लोड वेरिएशन एक्सपीरियंस्ड बाय टायर एज इट ट्रेवर्स्ड अन एवन रोड सर्फेस एंड प्रोवाइडेड बेटर राइड एनदर आस्पेक्ट इज टॉर्क रिएक्शन टॉर्क रिएक्शन एक्टिंग ऑन एक्सल कॉजेज इट्स रोटेशन इन अपोजिट डायरेक्शन वाइंडिंग अप ऑफ स्प्रिंग एंड टेंडेंसी टू लिफ्ट रियर व्हील ऑन वन साइड it affects traction adversely live axle with casing enclosing differential and two half shafts was introduced on rear side of vehicle long back it had shortcomings mentioned above due to axle casing unsprung mass also increased two engineers Mr Tripodi and Mr Buton designed a suspension system this suspension system connected two wheels on same axle through a tube this tube had a sliding joint differential and two half shafts connected to wheels acted independently as tube with sliding joint was used to connect two wheels axle casing was not essential and therefore eliminated this design was able to overcome shortcomings related to live axle it reduced unsprung mass and engine torque acting on axle this improved overall ride quality they got it patented in 1893 for steam cars later mr jules albert de don a french pioneer in automobile industry collaborated with mr buton and formed auto manufacturing unit this suspension was used in cars manufactured in this unit it became quite popular in spite of the fact that mr tropodi and mr buton designed it and mr didon only used it in his cars it became known as didon suspension tube with sliding joint became known as didon tube didon suspension as already mentioned differential and two half shafts act independently wheels on opposite side of axle are joined by didon tube referring to diagram that presents didon suspension it has two views plan on left and side view on right side view has been drawn to show relative positions of leading arm and didon tube considering plan differential and two half shafts propeller shaft and other details are presented including didon tube as mentioned earlier differential and two half shafts are connected to wheel through universal joints shown as circles in blue color these are not enclosed in axle casing as may be noticed universal joints provide flexibility this flexibility is essential as wheels take different positions motion is transferred from propeller shaft to two wheels in usual manner that we have learned earlier two wheels are connected with each other through didon tube that itself is in two pieces as shown one piece on right side shown in red can slide inside other one 
shown in black as a vehicle moves over a bump or passes through a pot hole camber changes slightly distance between two wheels also vary this variation is taken up by sliding joint provided in didon tube didon suspension has been quite popular with auto manufacturers for a long time gradually its use has been limited to few sports cars wysak axle it is named after a town in germany initially it was developed to overcome shortcomings of semi trailing arm suspension it was used on rear side of vehicle vehicles using semi trailing arm suspension while decelerating or turning had tendency to tow out this made vehicle unstable vehicles with wysak axle tended to tow in at the time of deceleration this brought desired stability to vehicle referring to diagram that presents two views view on left presents vehicle moving straight ahead and that on right presents vehicle taking a turn front pivot bushing is connected through short link as shown short link allows pulling of front bushing about o as vehicle takes a turn downward pulling has been shown by an arrow in downward direction as may be noticed in diagram on right side this causes toe in toe in compensates toe out while decelerating or turning rubber bushing shown in dark gray in diagrams are used these compress more on front suspension points than rear suspension points this effect is supported by suitably designed axle kinematics it avoids toe out and thus instability wysak axle has also been in use for a long time it is still popular among automakers because of its compact size this permits its use in even less space it finds use in suvs sports sedan and even upcoming electric cars air suspension system advanced technology has made possible precise handling of suspension systems also it has improved their ability to bear load in vehicles meant to carry heavy loads air suspension system has been in use for quite long time recently few luxury cars and some models of other vehicles have air suspension some manufacturers of motorcycles are also using air suspension air suspension system has air springs already known to us i talked about them while discussing different components of suspension system air spring is in the form of bag made of rubber and fabric in addition to this air suspension system has valve filter and solenoid manifold it is operated and controlled through electronic control module or ecm provided in vehicle a compressor provides compressed air compressor is run by car engine or electric motor compressed air is used to inflate or deflate air springs this causes raising or lowering of chassis from axle it also provides damping of shocks and vibrations 
referring to block diagram an air reservoir stores compressed air as shown an air compressor shown above it provides compressed air as already mentioned a pressure control valve as shown keeps air pressure under control and does not allow it to go beyond permissible limit a filter is provided at outlet of compressor to filter any impurity in compressed air compressed air next goes to solenoid valve manifold this manifold is connected to electronic control module shown in middle on right side this module operates solenoid valve as per requirements through solenoid valve manifold compressed air is supplied to air springs as attached with wheels w as shown suitable supply lines are provided to supply compressed air to air springs it is possible to monitor road surface conditions continuously and accurately through electronic control module accordingly solenoid valve operates and varies supply of compressed air to air springs as variation of air supply to air springs as makes possible up and down movement of chassis through electronic control module it is possible to operate the system highly accurately and provide a safe and comfortable ride in addition air suspension systems are provided with air dryer to remove moisture contents that may be present in air vehicles fitted with air suspension consume more fuel maintenance of these systems is higher as compared to conventional systems few other suspension systems are either highly specific or not so popular because of their high price let me talk about these in brief magnetic suspension system it utilizes magnetically controlled dampers in damper force is applied in a direction opposite to that of instantaneous movement of suspension each wheel is provided with separate dampers these have magneto rheological fluid abbreviated as mr fluid it is synthetic hydrocarbon oil it has microscopic magnetic particles embedded in it these particles are of size between 3 to 10 microns with the help of electromagnetic coil current is generated this produces magnetic field in mr fluid magnetic particles align in the direction of magnetic field applied this direction is transverse to the direction of fluid flow this restricts fluid flow through passages in piston this restriction in fluid flow provides desired damping effect magnetic suspension system responds very quickly an electronic control unit or ecu and sensors make it continuously adapting system it can adapt to characteristics of road surface and respond accordingly in few milliseconds referring to diagram that presents a portion of damper cylinder with piston to show the inner details it has been sectioned it has mr fluid shown as red dots inside piston electromagnetic coil is provided as may be noticed it is also provided with circular passages all along the circumference of piston 
through which mr fluid can pass in sectioned view two such passages and mr fluid passing through them has been shown on the upper side of diagram non magnetic and magnetic state of fluid are shown on left hand side non magnetic state is shown it has fluid particles position haphazardly with the formation of magnetic field fluid attains magnetic state shown on right hand side fluid particles are arranged symmetrically as shown these are arranged in horizontal direction which is transverse to direction of fluid flow this restricts the fluid flow through passage in piston and damping effect is achieved magnetization and therefore magnetic field strength depends upon current supplied by electromagnetic coil magnetic field strength determines resistance to fluid flow and thus damping effect response of electronic control unit or ecu is continuous quick and accurate being an electronic device it makes possible accurately controlled supply of electric current this makes system highly efficient as already mentioned it can continuously monitor road surface and provide damping effect that makes ride very comfortable bose suspension system bose a company well known for their high end audio products developed an active suspension system some 30 years back it was done as a side project however due to high cost it was not picked up by automakers in 2017 another company picked it up they were able to reduce its cost it uses modified mac ferson strut suspension on all four wheels modification comes in the form of using controllers motors and combination of magnets controllers detect disturbance and motor counteracts by applying pressure to damper the action may take as low as 5 milliseconds due to electronic control module present in system road mapping and control algorithms provide external support to system it makes possible for the system to know road conditions vehicle is approaching it helps in suspension to act accordingly system also responds while cornering or braking and as vehicle moves over a bump or pothole this provides to passengers a consistently comfortable ride semi independent suspension system these systems have a solid axle beam connecting the two wheels as one wheel on axle strikes a bump or moves over a pothole twisting of axle beam allows independent wheel movement this reduces impact on other wheel generally rear side of vehicle has semi independent suspension these are simple in design have low weight cost less and are durable semi independent suspension is suitable for vehicles with front wheel drive it has coil spring and damper an axle beam fixes suspension position referring to diagram that presents front view of suspension as it is symmetrical about vertical axis therefore details on one side that is right side 
have been shown. Axle assembly has provisions to accommodate coil spring and damper as shown. Axle is in the form of a solid beam with inverted U section channel. Damper as shown has its bottom mounted on one end of axle assembly. Its upper end is mounted on panel with the help of bracket that makes it act as strut. This helps in maintaining fore and aft and lateral position of wheels. In few designs separate trailing arm for damper and coil spring is provided. As one wheel moves over a bump, whole wheel assembly moves up and twisting of axle occurs. Impact on wheel on other side is reduced due to twisting. Two wheels have movement that is neither independent nor dependent and so the name semi-independent suspension. Another variant of semi-independent suspension uses track bar and brace. Track bar is connected between axle assembly and cross member in chassis. Referring to diagram that presents front view. On right hand coil spring is located. It is provided with suitable mounting arrangements. On left hand damper is provided. This is somewhat similar to what has been seen in previous suspension. Here in addition track bar and brace are provided. Track bar is fixed with the help of brackets in axle assembly and cross member. Brace is connected from the same bracket to cross member as shown. Track bar and brace help in reducing a sideways movement of axle assembly. There are few designs where brace is not used. These designs use track bar only. I conclude here. Thanks for watching.